This is Management 128 Online, and what we're going to be doing in this brief video is just to introduce the course to you. Uh, hopefully you've seen the different um, pages, the different aspects in this Module 0 for you. And, and so you, you've come to realize that we're at the very beginning of the course in Module 0. It's, it's just an introduction. Uh, it's a review that perhaps teaches you how to follow the course. So if you have any questions uh, during this course, please uh, email me. Uh, I'd like to set up a chat time or perhaps even a phone conference. We can use freeconferencecall.com and that way our phone numbers are kept uh, private. Um, so just send me an email at Canvas, please don't use the uh, Outlook email address through the college. Use Canvas to stay within the course and just let me know if you want to speak or you have questions or you need some clarification. Uh, I will get uh, back to you very quickly. I do check my Canvas email quite frequently, especially during our quarter. Um, a couple of items that may not be so evident is that when we get into Module 1, which is our reading, our actual content for the course, you'll be taking quizzes. The quizzes have password protection uh, aspects to prevent uh, 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 people from outside the course entering and, and taking information. Um, data mining. Um, so to prevent the data mining, I've added prep passwords and what you want to do is open up the quiz and in that you will see the instructions provide for the password. So just open the quiz, look for the first paragraph and you'll find your password in there. Uh, so the next module is module one, which is, like I said, the beginning of the course. Reading module one is where you begin getting into the actual content of our material. Uh, we're going to be working with each other. You're going to be working with me through the course. Uh, again, everybody's got questions, I hope. Uh, we're all going through difficult times, I understand. So let's work together to help find the best way uh, to communicate, to share, uh, there's a number of ways we can do this. Um, I, I want to talk about, though, the fact that I don't have Zoom. Um, many instructors do. That's fine. Um, I don't feel like Zoom is the best avenue for this course for a number of reasons. Um, I'm going to be using YouTube exclusively. That allows me to put up closed captions underneath the video, and students then can watch these videos at their leisure. Zoom requires that we all participate at the same time. I found that with the number of students that we have, uh, the different places that we live, um, we don't have the ability to coordinate uh, that well. So coordinating uh, a common time is very challenging. Uh, another aspect of why I don't use Zoom is that I don't require attendance. Uh, even in my face-to-face -face classes, we never required attendance. So requiring someone to attend a Zoom synchronous meeting is just not really the best way for us to study, to, wa to work together. Uh, I think that students on their own can watch the videos that I'm preparing, these brief lectures. You can watch them at your leisure. You don't have to worry about following somebody else's time schedule. Although we do follow a week-to-week -week progression, there will be on our modules a week-to-week -week progression starting from Sunday morning early to Saturday night late, uh, and then we move to the next week with the next module. Uh, again, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me through uh, Canvas. You can ask that we set up a, a chat session, which Canvas provides, or we can have a phone call, which I think is very helpful uh, and to get back and forth on your questions very easily.